Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is my is me showing off my uh, June 2023 haul. Um, it's quite a bit here. Um, I didn't have a lot of room in my other room right now, so I got to do it in this room. Um, it's quite a bit here to go through, but I'm not going to really talk about the movies just too much, especially since most of them you've, you've already seen in previous videos. So I'm just going to dive right on in here. So the first one here is something you guys haven't seen yet because I just got this in the mail like a day or two ago. This is a trauma film. It's known as probably one of the worst movies ever made. That is a movie called <laughs> Fatty Drives the Bus. I, I don't know. I just I saw like a little snippet of it online and I was like, what the hell is this? So I had to pick it up. Uh, this is a film by uh, Mick Napier. Napier. Um... Not sure when it was uh, exactly when it was made. It says 2005 on the back, but I think it might be uh, older than that. Uh, don't recognize anybody in the cast, but it was obviously produced by Lloyd Kaufman and Michael Herz. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you've seen Fatty Drives the Bus. It's not. It's not a horror film. I don't. I believe it's like a comedy. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Let's uh, go to dollar, some Dollar Tree stuff I found over the last um, month. Not a lot. They haven't really gotten anything good. Uh, they've had a lot of like Big Lots stuff in in store, but you know nothing great. Uh, I got season one of a Western comedy drama from the '60s called Laredo. Laredo. Um, Nah, I'm not a big Western guy, but there are some names, uh, guest stars in this, like Lee Van Cleef, um, Claude Aikens, uh, Kurt Russell, Burgess Meredith, Jamie Farr, you know, names I recognize. So you got 30 episodes on six discs, so pretty cool. It only lasted two seasons, I read into it, so... Um, another DVD here I just found yesterday. This is a BBC Skins Volume 4. I've heard of this show, but I've never seen it, so I wanted to check it out. Um, I don't recognize any of the cast or the guest stars on here. I believe this is, um, obviously this is an overseas uh, series, so not sure. Um... Found this one yesterday. This is a Walmart exclusive double feature of Homefront and End of Watch. Uh, I got it for End of Watch. I heard it was a really good um, uh, cop drama, so I want to check that out. Homefront sounds pretty good too. It's about a uh, how far one man will go to protect his family against a uh, psychotic uh, drug lord. So very interesting double feature there. I picked up Filth. This is a um, uh, James McAvoy uh, film with uh, Jamie Bell as well. Um, I took the plastic off because it was already falling off when I found it, so still sealed on the top there. Uh, we got I Am Woman, Dark Shadows, Hip Man 2, uh, Into the Storm. This is the Spanish, or this is the, I think this is actually the Mexican import version. And we have Enough Said, another uh, Spanish title here. So that's it for the Dollar Tree. Uh, my, my pickups for the uh, buy two get ones for Target. We got Angel Baby. My boyfriend's back. Ghost Warrior, Flesh and Fantasy, Buried Alive, The Incredible Melting Man, A Death Promise, The Scary of 61st, and uh, Dr. Giggles. Got this at Walmart because it was, um, you know, I, I enjoy uh, Diana Rigg. Uh, when she was on the Avengers. So this is every single episode she was in. Uh, this is the complete Emma Peel mega set. 51 episodes, three seasons worth. Uh, 16 disc set. 
I found this at a Walmart. The disc was a disc was loose inside. I said no way. Found it at a local one for I think it was under twenty bucks. So pretty cool. Glad to have that finally. Um, my upgraded American Horror Story Blu-rays from Second and Charles. So one, two, three, four. And five. I do have Roanoke already, so that would be six. And I don't have any of the other ones in my collection, which I don't think any of them have Blu rays after that. I think they're all a DVD. Uh, I just got this from Miranda in the mail today. Uh, Ringe and the Nerd, she got this from me at a Big Lots. I couldn't find it in my area, so this is an upgrade for me. Thank you. Uh, got all the all of the next ones here. I got all at the big or on the, sorry uh, Best Buy for really cheap. So we got the remake of the Bad News Bears. I have the original as well. So got the Caddyshack for ninety nine cents. Can't beat that. Wildcats five ninety nine for a shout select title. Cannot beat that at all. Um, went ahead and got this bad boy. Now unfortunately, there's a nice little. Um, nice little cut on the top of the box here, but you know, I, I didn't see it when I got it. Sopranos, complete series. Uh, I don't remember how many discs are in here, but it's quite a, quite a few here. Never actually got into the show, so I definitely wanted to give it a watch, and I got a good deal on that. Uh, we got the two things I got from the FYE sale. We got Housebound, really enjoyed that one. Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball Volorama Part 2. I really enjoyed the first one. I heard the second one is not great, but we'll check that out when we come to it. Uh, we got Evil Dead Rise. Picked up the 4K. I didn't like the blue with the with the black and the red. Kind of didn't. I mean, it didn't work with the aesthetic. So I mean, it still has some blue on there, but it's fine. No special features. Come on, Warner Brothers, get your get your act together. Got Renfield here. Still haven't checked that out yet. Went ahead and got the Super Mario Target exclusive with the lenticular cover. Still haven't watched it yet. Heard it was fantastic. I got the Insidious 4K Steelbook here. Really enjoyed this series as a whole. Cannot wait to watch the fifth film. Uh, I went ahead and bought, uh, uh, bit the bullet for Maximum Overdrive Steelbook. I know I already have the original release of this in Vestron. Um, so I watched Killer Waves. Motivational Growth. Hunchback Notre Dame. These are all um, Amazon pickups. Um, yeah, I went ahead and got Creep Show 3 from uh, Shout Factory. I, I know, I know. Get all the hate. Gets all the hate. Uh, we got uh, Terrifying Girls High School, uh, Animal Classmates. Um, got a few out of print titles here from, um, I forget the name of the, the Capstone Films, I believe is what it's called. Twisted Nightmare and uh, Shockma. Really good uh, killer baboon movie. <laughs> I know, it's cheesy as hell. This one I have not watched yet, Twisted Nightmare. Really wanted to check that out. Probably would watch that tonight, maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe later on. Maybe in July I'll watch that. Um, uh, th I found this Kino at, I think, where was I? I think I got it at McKay's. The one time I went by myself. Uh, this is, um, it's a Western. It's a spaghetti Western called uh, Kill Them All and Come Back Home, Come Back Alone with uh, Chuck Connors. 1968, uh, this is directed by, who the hell this? Enzo G. Castella, Castella, Castellari, Castellari. I can't talk today, guys, obviously. <sighs> we got, Muppets from Space, I was missing this one. I think the only one I'm missing now would be Muppet Treasure Island on Blu-ray by itself. I always keep coming across the double feature. And I think 
the second Christmas uh, movie. I, I have the, the original one from the 90s. I don't have the second one. Finally found a good copy of Southern Comfort here. This is a Shock Factory release. Um, the first time I found this, I had a nice little hole and punch in the boat barcode, so it ruined the, the reversible artwork. But this one obviously is fine. Still haven't checked this out yet, but I heard it's really good. Um, uh, war movie. It's from, I mean, it's from Walter Hill, so it's going to be good. Got the remake of Straw Dogs. I have the original, just didn't have the remake. Uh, another Kino title I found at a um, one of those Amazon return bin places. They're they're spread out throughout the country. Got this for a buck. This is from Kino. This is the monster that challenged the world. Still factory sealed. This is actually out of print from what I what I've seen online. It goes for like around thirty thirty five dollars. But I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna open it and watch it. I got this at a Goodwill for I think it was like a dollar, dollar fifty or something like that. It was half off. This is a region free Blu-ray of a. I think this is a musical, but it had Jodie Foster in it and Scott Baio. This is Bugsy Malone. I got it for half off because green was the color of the day. Of the receipt inside. Uh, I don't know. I, I heard it's a pretty good musical. I do enjoy Jodie Foster quite a bit, so pick that up. The next three here I found at my local um, Salvation Army for seventy-five cents each. I didn't need this one. I actually already had it, but I might, you know, trade it in or resell it or something. Uh, Scream Four. And I found a copy of Mystic River, and I found the, uh, what year is this from, 1974, this is um, The Great Gatsby. This is the one with um, Robert Redford, Mia Farrow, Karen Black, Scott Wilson, Bruce Dern, so a really good cast on that one, so really, really happy to have it. I've seen this before in uh, high school. Uh, I got a copy of Heat here. Miranda gave me that, so thank you. More thrift uh, pickups that I got for a buck fifty. We got Click. Uh, we got Extract. I love Mike Judge. Uh, John Q. Uh, double feature of uh, Tale of the Mummy and Beneath Loch Ness. Uh, the original Inglorious Bastards and Opium Menace uh, in South Central while drinking juice in the hood. I always forget the second part of that movie's title. And lastly, here I believe this is it. This is just everything I got from the Vinegar Syndrome sale plus partner labels and TerraVision. So we got, uh, I can never say this right, Srigala, which means wolf in Indonesian. I'm going to be talking about this in my um, my movie review video, which I'll be shooting probably tomorrow, probably tomorrow night. Uh, we got the Adam Rifkin Film Festival. I haven't watched this yet. Uh, night Screams on 4K. This is a really interesting movie. I'll be talking about it again in my, my uh, movie review video I'll be um, shooting tomorrow. The duck doesn't have as much um, uh, much to do with the movie as I thought it would, but it it does it is involved in one scene, so might be talking about that. Uh, we got Hell Comes to Frog Town, Evil Laugh. You guys know how I feel about that movie; it's hilarious. I uh, got Amityville Horror on 4K. Uh, sorry, Don't Open Till Christmas on Blu-ray. Miami Connection, really enjoyed that one. We got a Blade in the Dark. Some I don't this packaging. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it's cool because it shows you different um, different scenes on both sides. You open it up and it 
the, the knife comes through the door. I don't know. Let me know you guys how I feel about this kind of packaging. I think it's just okay. And we got two classics here. We have Roadhouse and Showgirls. So that is pretty much everything I've gotten this past month. Give or take a few titles that I don't have in my possession. My brother has them. Or, yeah, mostly I got it from my brothers. But And some other people got packages in the mail too. So that is it for this video today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments which title or titles are your favorites that I picked up this month. And stay tuned for next month. Hopefully it doesn't break the bank. I didn't break the bank this month either, but, you know, I'm, I gotta be more selective now. So, take care, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you guys later. Bye.